Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs again. Today we're going to keep working on our Cubase video tutorials. So today we're going to learn how to set up your audio interface or your sound card to work uh, with Cubase. Okay, that's one of the most important things that you have to learn because if you don't have that properly set up, well, you can't record audio and you cannot play back audio. Okay, so we'll make sure that today you learn that very well okay so um let's say that you have created your cubase um you have your cubase project in this case here i have one it's called alternative rock band right now it's all empty i don't have any tracks or anything because before i create all of that i want to make sure that my interface has been properly set okay has been properly configured and it's been ass assigned to the to the program so how do you do that? Well, you go to studio, and by the way, this is a menu that you're gonna be accessing a lot, especially when you're dealing with, you know, uh, routing, interfaces, MIDI, and things like that. All kinds of connections and routing, uh, you most likely find here on this studio menu. So, you click on studio, and all the way to the bottom, there's studio setup. If you click there, you're gonna see this studio setup window, okay? so. Uh, all kinds of things. You'll see here on the left, there's an audio system area, MIDI area, remote devices, transport, video, and VST system link. The very first one, audio system area, that's what we have right now clicked on, selected, you can see it's highlighted. And you'll see all the features, all the other parameters of the audio system area here on your right. Now, the very first part, your ASIO driver. Basically, right now it says no driver. Okay, that means that there's nothing assigned to your audio system as a piece of hardware. Now, if you click on it, you see the little arrow pointing down, you click on it and you'll see all these options. Um, my actual interface is the Revelator, okay, the Revelator by Personas. So, um, if I click on it, I'll be assigning it. Now, before you do all of this, you do want to make sure that whatever interface you have, you have installed the drivers for that operating system. Right now I'm working in Windows 10. So you you might want to look for the drivers of your hardware, install them, and then once it's installed, that's when you go into Cubase and do all of this, okay? So I go into where it says no driver, click on it, and I'll see all of these options. I look for mine, mine is the Revelator ASIO. So I'll click on it. Do you want to switch the ASIO driver? Yes, switch. So, as soon as I do that, check it out. Now it says Revelator down here, okay? Now, I'll go back to Audio System. Uh, you're gonna see, uh, now it'll show some kind of input latency, in this case, five milliseconds, 5.3 output, as uh, your guard latency, sample rate, uh, and uh, pull up and down, that's off. And then you have all these advanced options, okay? Now, once you, once you select it here, you have assigned your interface to Cubase, okay? Now, all of these advanced options, that's totally optional. Now, typically, by default, it works fine. You don't you don't really need to mess with this a lot, okay? Not a lot. Uh, processing precision, I, you know, 32-bit float, that's plenty. Um, do you wanna activate multi-processing? I do have it activated, I like it. Um, as your guard, yes, as your guard level, I think by default, it comes in normal, so I'll just leave it there. And all the other options, once again, I just leave those default. You can also go into where it says Revelator ASIO. In my case, it's Revelator, Re Revelator ASIO, because that's mine. In your case, it'll say whatever name of your interface or whatever name of your sound card is. You'll see some other options here, uh, such as your ports, your inputs, and so on and so forth. Now, um, if you're only trying to uh, assign your interface, that's all you need to do. At this point, your revelator, well, in my case, my revelator has been assigned properly. So if I go to OK, uh, that's it. It's been assigned. Okay, I have properly configured my interface. If you want to double check, you can go back to Studio, Studio Setup, and there it is, Revelator ASIO. Remember that by default, it will come with no driver. You don't want it there. You definitely want to make sure that you find the name of your interface and click on it. And obviously, 
you cannot, don't forget it. You have to click OK to save the changes. So that's how you set your audio interface in Cubase, OK? Uh, in the following tutorials, we're going to talk a little more about the routing, inputs, outputs, and so on and so forth, more like advanced routing. Um, but by now, that's how you set up your interface in Cubase. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we will be glad to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.